Hello again. So, I thought I would do a quick tutorial on Playmaker with Rewired and mobile controls. Uh, Rewired is an amazing system. Setting up the mobile controls is a little trickier than the standard Rewired, no doubt. So, just to be quick about this, I have empty scene. These are just there, nothing special. I am going to go Windows, Rewired, Create, Input Manager in Scene. Okay. I'm going to launch this, and it gives me this little special window. So the first thing we need is a player. Uh, system is a default thing, so we have a player. Okay. The other thing we need is actions. So everything, all your FSMs, actions uh, control or get feedback from these actions so if I create an action and we call it horizontal and we're gonna make this an axis and we'll do another one and we'll call it vertical and this one is also an axis I now have two actions so now, using Rewired and Playmaker, I can, I can create maps for these and control Playmaker through these axes. And if I want to make a joystick map, um, I can, I've got a 360 or a one controller, I could hook that up, and the keyboard, and the mouse, and all sorts, I could hook up all the maps I want, I can, I can make maps for absolutely everything here and put it all in all at the same time. I'm not going to do that. Um, this is about mobile controls. So what I'm going to do is make an actual, I'm going to make a custom controller. I'm just going to hit new and I'm going to create an axis. I'm going to call this one H for horizontal. I'm not going to play with any of these settings. I'm going to make another one called V for vertical. I might even make a button just for the fun of it. So we now have a custom controller that has the ability for two axes and a button. Now that doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, now I can create a custom controller map. This is where some magic comes in. So I'm going to create a map. Okay, new, this is undefined, so H, so what we, so this custom controller, now we're tapping into that H, and it's going to control horizontal, coming over here, we're going to say V, it's going to control vertical, right, now if I made a joystick map, for example, I can now say the left stick is going to control horizontal. Left stick Y can control vertical. Right? So you, you create all these maps to control these actions. Okay, clear as mud. Perfect. So back on the players, on player zero, I'm going to go to my custom controller maps and I'm going to give him that map right if I want I can also give him that map I can give him whatever maps I want you can also change his maps during runtime <coughs> okay so I believe is all we need to do in here so now let's close that let's create a canvas and under rewired under the extras, prefabs, I'm going to grab one of these uh, joysticks. I'm just going to drop it in the scene. I don't like how small they are, so I'm going to scale it up. So there's a little joystick. Now you can see touch controller component cannot be found. It wants a touch controller component. I'm just going to stick this right on the canvas. 
pretty sure it doesn't need to be on the canvas, but that's where I'm sticking it. So, custom controller options. Find rewired, okay. Custom controller is going to do this. Player zero, those need to be filled. Um, it's already automatically found our joystick, or you, you can add joysticks and buttons here as well. Now, if I go to the this joystick, element type axes, it's going to be our H. The vertical axes will be our V. Okay. Now, if I say create, let's say an image. There's our image. Um, let's, let's put it right on the image here. Again, this FSM doesn't need to be on there. But we are going to use this action. Uh, rewired player get axes. Okay, so this is getting the actions. So I want horizontal. And we're going to store it here. And I'm going to just duplicate this. And do vertical. Okay. Shrink those. Now if you want, you could also do a compare operations like like the like a, like in Playmaker, you have the float compares. So these get axes, you can store the value, but you can also add in a compare values right there compared to this. You can also add in from there the events. But I'm I'm, I'm not going to bother using that. I'm just getting the values. We want some float multiplies. And we're going to take the H, multiply it by 100, V, multiply it by 100, we're going to translate this owner, the X, and the Y, might as well do world, because it really doesn't matter, in 2D. Okay. Now, as long as I haven't screwed that up, okay. So, <clears throat> in play mode now, with my mouse, I can take this and drag it up. He's moving. He's not moving upwards, so I probably screwed something up there. But he, he, we are getting those inputs, right? I probably spelled vertical wrong. But anyways, so we're getting the horizontal. And he is moving horizontally, just as I told him so. And that's with the mouse. Now I also have my iPad connected using Unity 5 Remote. So as you see, my mouse is up here. I'm, I'm now grabbing my iPad, and I'm touching my iPad and telling it to go. See, and it's controlling just as well. So there's some magic. Now, you could do really when, when, once you're in there. I mean, from there, it's you build your actions like you would anything else, but you can map everything, right? Like if I wanted to control it with touch and link a joystick and the keyboard and all that stuff, everything would control because everything is going to control these actions based on the maps made in this guy okay sounds good all right we'll catch you later we'll try to use, we'll try to do some more mobile mobile tutorials